In this video, we'll be looking at ways to find the equation of a line when we're given a slope and a point that's on the line. Let's try a problem. We want to find the equation of a line with a slope of 1 through negative 3 and negative 6. We know that our equation needs to be of the form y equals mx plus b. We're told that the slope of this line is 1. So m is equal to 1. So now we're looking at the equation y equals x plus b. One way that we can find our missing y-intercept is to plot the point negative 3 and negative 6. So there's the point negative 3 negative 6, and then using the slope of 1, find some additional points that are on the line, connect those points with a straight line, and then we can see if we can estimate or approximate on our graph what the y-intercept is. And it looks like the y-intercept is at negative 3. So we can say our equation is y equals x plus 3. This is an easy method to use when our y-intercept is easy to read, but that's not always going to be the case. So it is possible to graph situations to find the corresponding y-intercept given a slope of a line and a point that's on the line, but we want to know if there's an easier way, a way that doesn't involve estimation or approximation. So let's try this question. Find the equation of a line with a slope of negative 2 through the point 4 and negative 3. So here again, y equals mx plus b is our equation. We have a slope of 2, so y equals 2x plus b. And now instead of plotting the point 4 and negative 3 on my grid, I'm going to rather sub that point in to my equation for x and y. Remember that the point 4 and negative 3 is a coordinate, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So in my equation I can sub in 4 for x and negative 3 for y. And now I can manipulate this and try and solve it. I just noticed a mistake I made. This should be negative 2 for my slope. So manipulating and solving, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 plus b. Bring the negative 8 to the other side, it becomes plus 8. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. And so my equation has told me that my y-intercept is 5. So my equation is y equals negative 2x plus 5. Let's see if we're right. Let's plot this point, 4 and negative 3. And a slope of 2. Negative 2 means we go down 2 and over 1. Down 2 and over 1. We connect those points with a straight line as best we can. Notice I am having a little trouble as I'm plotting, lining my graph up properly with my points. So I've got my graph going through my points as best I can. If I extend this, I should see it going through the y-intercept of 5, but because I'm drawing it instead of calculating exactly, you can see I'm having trouble getting it done. It will eventually, once I line it up, go through 5. But this is kind of illustrating why just sketching the graph and trying to estimate the y-intercept isn't necessarily the best strategy. 
because we're not always going to be as accurate as we should be. Whereas with the algebra and solving it algebraically, we're always going to be accurate. Let's try another one. Find the equation of a line with a slope of 2 thirds through the point 6 and 5. Just to state our steps, we start by subbing in the slope. Then we sub in the point that we've been given. And then finally, we solve for point B, for the y-intercept. So here we have y equals mx plus b. We sub in our slope of 2 thirds. Then we sub in our point, 6 and 5. Multiplying this through, we get 12 thirds plus b equals 5. I can reduce that fraction. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Bringing that over to the other side, 5 take away 4 is equal to b, or my y-intercept is 1. So my equation is y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. And I did all of that without having to graph my equation. If I wanted to graph this and try and verify, I could plot my y-intercept of 1 my slope of 2 thirds, so up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3, connect that with a line, and there's my line with a slope of 2 thirds going through the point 6 and 5. And our last example, find the equation of the line with a slope of negative 5 quarters through the point 1 and 1 half. Again, I start with y equals mx plus b. My slope is negative 5 quarters, so I sub that in for m. I then sub in the point, 1 half equals negative 5 quarters times 1 plus b. And now that I've done that, I just need to manipulate and try and solve for b. You can do this fraction addition on your calculator, or you can do it the long way by finding a common denominator, which is 4 changing the fraction of one half so that it matches with that common denominator. Two quarters plus five quarters equals seven quarters. And that's my y-intercept. So my equation would be y equals negative five quarters x plus seven quarters.